Hello, my lovely Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your December weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And the holiday sale is going on, so that's recorded readings, one question for $10, four questions for $30, or Zoom readings for $45. And everything that you need to know about that is in the description box below for you. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my lovely Virgos, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. They're telling quite the story here. All right. All right, Virgo. I feel like there's going to be a major conversation between you and somebody else here. We have the Queen of Swords here for the situation. I do. I feel like there's a big conversation um, going to be happening here. I feel like somebody has done you wrong in a situation. There's been some kind of uh, injustice here. We're going to need to take a look at it. You got the Emperor in the reverse. And the Ten of Swords in the Ravers. So somebody here wants to talk because they they recognize where you are slipping away because of whatever they've done here. They feel like things are starting to be out of their control. Like their hands are kind of in the air. They don't want this to be the end with this Emperor in the Reverse and this Ten of Swords in the Reverse. So it's like this conversation of what can I do? What can, what can I do to fix this? What can I do to make this right? Chariot in the reverse. And the full card. They don't want to see you move on. I do feel like they want, like, with that full card, it does kind of feel like clean slate energy. Like, they want another chance. They want a clean slate. They understand that it's hard for you to move past with that chariot, move past whatever this injustice is, whatever they've done to you here. But they're hoping that with enough conversating that you'll be able to, you know, give them a give them another chance here, give them a clean a clean slate and a fresh start. And I feel like you're really reflecting on the situation because your overall energy is the Four of Swords. You're reflecting on whether you should allow them to return or not. They want to come out of the cold here or they want to reconnect with you here, right? They want to make things right. And I feel like that's what you're really reflecting on here. So you're not like, I don't know if I should allow you back in or if I should release you. Hey, man, in the reverse. I think it's really weighing on you. I think it's very difficult for you. I feel like you're not sure if you can get past whatever has happened here between the two of you with that Ten of Wands. You got the Seven of Pentacles. To me, that's a card of like analyzing and assessing the situation. Do I really want to invest more into this? Am I willing to risk it? You know, is it worth it? Um, you're seeing how this person is expressing. They're, they're apologizing for the pain that they've caused you here. You can see that Page of Cups with the Three of Swords. They're, they're expressing how they feel. They are apologizing for the pain that they've caused. They are asking for your forgiveness in a situation. But this has taken a lot from you. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. It's taken a lot from you. It's been a very draining energy. And it's you have a, you have a decision to make here. You're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles in the situation because I feel like you're taking your time to really analyze the situation. He's very, very thorough. You know, if anything, he also has these oak leaves on his horse and on his helmet, which do symbolize wisdom. So I do, I feel like you're, and he's not moving. His horse isn't moving. He's really analyzing what his next step should be. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're really, really analyzing the situation. You're not allowing this person to rush you. They may be having a lot to say, but you're taking your time to make your decision here. The challenge is the King of Cups in the reverse. I think that you're emotionally guarded or emotionally closed off when it comes to this person. You're pulling back emotionally. 
got the two of cups in the reverse. You feel a huge disconnect with this person. It's hard for you to even talk to them. Because I feel like every time you talk to them, it's like you can't get past whatever has happened here. The Four of Swords. It's really weighing on your mind. It's hard for you to even talk to them. Tell me about this King of Cups in the reverse. Ooh. Apparently there's a lot to say there. Tell me about this King of Cups in the reverse, please. Why is the King of Cups here in the reverse? Why is that the challenge? The Empress. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Wands. You know, the Empress is all about creation. Three of Pentacles in the reverse thing. Like, things are not easy and you feel like you're not on the same page. You're not sure if you want to create a new beginning. You're not sure if you can. You're not sure if you can see yourself working on this with this person. I feel like there's a lack of trust here. I do. I feel like you're very guarded. I feel like there's a lack of trust. I feel like you're closing off. I also feel like whatever this person has done could have affected your, like the way that you view yourself. It could have negatively impacted your self-esteem, okay? So keep in mind not to allow other people and their shit to determine your worth, okay? Their inability to see your value or appreciate your value does not decrease your value. Let's see. Toxic. I mean, if I wasn't ready, no, you have too busy winning. I feel like that's your energy. The too busy winning. I feel like you're starting to see where, you know, what you can have in this life and what you want in this life, right? And I feel like you're like, I don't, I'm not sure if I have time for this. I don't have time to keep investing into something that is toxic or somebody who isn't ready, somebody who isn't ready to give me the things that I want, the things that I deserve in a connection to treat me the way that I deserve to be treated in a connection. I don't have time for that. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This really does take a lot from you. I feel like you're you're thinking about the, all the energy that you've invested into this person, into this connection. And you're like, how far would I be? You know, especially this too busy winning and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. How far would I be if I put that same energy into myself or into my dreams or my goals if I treated myself that way? We have into you. New love cycle so I feel like this person is trying to kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for um, like reassure you I guess that they are into you that they are attracted to you that they do want you you know that they want an, especially with this full card and this new love card you know this person wants to like have some kind of totally clean slate they want you to I feel like they don't even want to deal with what's happened or even really discuss what's happened I feel it's more like okay well how can we just put it past us how can we just start over um Kind of negating the responsibility and accountability aspects of it, right? Just how can, how can, I do want you, I, I do want you. How can we, how can we move past this? But it's showing up as a cycle. You know, how can we just start over? They're trying to come at this with a new energy. Your outcome is the strength card in the reverse. I feel like you don't have it in you anymore to continue to deal with this. It's like you just don't have it in, in you anymore. The world card, the moon card. Yeah, you feel like there's too many secrets. You feel like there's too much that you don't know. It's too uncertain, um, you know, that this isn't going to happen again. You have the three of wands here as the advice. Hope for the future, future thinking, future planning. You're being asked to look at the future and ask yourself, is this something I want to continue to deal with? Is this something that I want to... Um, you know, because we are we can't help how people treat us, but we can allow. We are responsible for who we allow to have access to us. It kind of reminds me of that um, that expression. You know, fool fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Now, you know, every circumstance is different, okay? But it is kind of that energy that's coming up with this three of wands as you're being asked to look at the future, right? And the kind of relationship that you want, the kind of relationship that you desire to have. And ask yourself, can I have that with this person? Because um, there is a level of sacrifice here. Um, you either have to sacrifice that kind of relationship that you want um, for this person, or you have to sacrifice this person for that kind of relationship that you want. 
we have avoiding. Yeah, so this person is still, like I said, they're still avoiding the root cause of the issue, um, which is their actions and their behaviors. They're wanting to talk about how they can fix it moving forward. They're wanting to just kind of sweep it under the rug and move past it. Let's just have a clean slate. Let's just start over. You know, but they're not addressing any of the issues that caused it in the first place. They're still avoiding it. And that's something that's important to remember. We have a wish come true just to get what they want here. You know, I do feel like I would be careful because I feel like this person could have quite a bit to say. Um, but still no effort to back it up. You know, so having a lot to say, but not having the the effort to, like, the actions are not matching the words here. You know, that's how I want to put that. So I would be cautious with that energy. But it is up to you. Ultimately, I do feel like a lot of you guys feel like you don't have the strength to continue to put yourself in this situation to go through this. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be closing a cycle out here. And keep in mind, guys, that these are just weekly energies. These are not permanent outcomes this is where the energy lies for the week coming up. But this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling, personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. Now, if you want to come hang out with me over on Patreon, we do different kinds of readings over there. We do love readings, of course, but we also do spiritual growth, messages from your spirit guides, your blessings, your finances, stuff like that, too. And I do offer a tarot course. If you want to learn how to read the tarot with me one-on-one -on -one via Zoom, you guys can go ahead and email me for more details. My email is also in the description box below. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me. And I'm sending so much love and light until next time.